Tough a day. My name's Clayton Wolf, and I'm a salesman here at Cars Plus. And if you've never been to Cars Plus before, we're located on Route 8 up in Mighty. Just look for the big Cars Plus sign and all the beautiful palm trees on the outside of our dealership. Now, it looks like it's been raining all night last night, so let's go have some fun in our Jeep Wrangler Rubicon. So here we are at the trailhead headed up to Mosso Reservoir. Um, and like I said earlier, uh, it's been raining all night last night, uh, so the trail looks real muddy and uh, this should be a lot of fun. Uh, so while we're headed up there, let's go ahead and talk about some of the interior features on the Jeep Wrangler Rubicon. Now what makes a Wrangler Rubicon a Rubicon? Uh, well really it's these two buttons right down here on the left hand side. It's your sway bar disconnect and your axle locking buttons. Now sway bar disconnect is um, uh, actually a very important feature uh, for a Rubicon. Basically what it does is it uh, allows for independent articulation of your wheels. So when you disconnect your sway bars, each wheel can actually raise and lower independently uh, of all the other, wheel, uh, all the other wheels. Uh, that keeps more rubber on the road, so to speak. Okay. Now we also have our axle locking button. Basically what that does is when I hit it once, it's going to lock the back differential and it may, causes both wheels in the back to spin at the, at the same rate. Now if I hit the button again, it's going to lock a center differential. So no matter how hard I push on the gas, all four wheels are going to spin at the same rate. Okay, so between those two capabilities, those two features, it makes this the most capable off-roading vehicle in production today on the planet. So now some of the convenience features, Bluetooth, I mean, what, what, what a better feature to have out here in the jungle. Um, you know, not for the phone calls, but more so for the audio streaming capabilities. So I've got my Bluetooth connected, I'm playing my own music, I'm out here enjoying the beautiful scenery uh, of the jungle, and uh, I'm just having a really great day. We also have uh, our cruise control feature. Now that's a little bit more road oriented, I'm not going to use cruise control out here in the jungle, but you do have that capability. So the long haul down the road, uh, you can go ahead and set your cruise control and let your Jeep do all the work. Um, over here in the center stack, we have our beautiful Uconnect stereo that is not only touchscreen capable, but she also has a 40 gig built-in hard drive. Now, she also plays DVDs, but only while the vehicle is in park, okay? So you can't be watching movies while you're driving down the road. Um, we also have the ability to switch from two-wheel drive to four-wheel drive on the fly. So I have a little lever down here on the floor that I can actually pull and switch it from two-wheel drive into four-wheel drive low or four-wheel drive high. Now we have an automatic transmission on the Jeep Wrangler Rubicon, at least in this Jeep Wrangler Rubicon, and it also has Tiptronic shifting capability. So if I wanted to, I could actually downshift the gears or I can actually manage the gears and upshift uh, all on my own. Um, so it looks like we're actually about to pull into Maso Reservoir here. So uh, let's take this opportunity to pull up and uh, get some nice shots and talk about some of the features on the outside of the Jeep. Okay, so we made it, Maso Reservoir. Uh, so let's go ahead and talk about some of those uh, exterior features on your Jeep Wrangler Rubicon. Right up front here, we have the iconic Jeep 7 slotted grill. Uh, I like to think that that represents all the seven continents of the planet and that Jeep has conquered them all. So as you drive around, uh, you can proudly display to the world, uh, I'm driving a vehicle that has conquered the planet. Uh, up here on the front bumper, we also have a couple of towing tusks. So if you got a buddy that has found himself in some kind of a precarious situation, you grab your toe strap loop, go ahead and throw it right over that tusk, and then go ahead and attach it to his vehicle and, and pull him out of whatever situation he may have found himself in. As we come around to the side over here, uh, I'm going to go ahead and point out the beautiful Rubicon graphics up here on the hood. We also have the Rubicon rims. And what Jeep has done on these, and it's pretty clever, is that they've taken the classic 1940s Jeep Willys image, and they've printed it on the rims and throughout the rest of your Jeep. And over the years, as you tear apart and put back together your Jeep and customize your Jeep and have fun with your Jeep, you're gonna find these little images printed throughout, your, uh, throughout the vehicle. And uh, I'm not gonna tell you where they're all located at because that would take away all the fun of you trying to discover where they're at. Okay, as we know with Wranglers, the roof comes off, the doors come off. Uh, this roof particularly comes apart in three different pieces. 
you have a small piece over the driver, you've got another small piece over the passenger of the vehicle, and those can actually come apart with your hands. Uh, so you can do it on the fly out in the middle of the jungle. You can take off those small roof pieces and put them in the back uh, for safekeeping. Uh, everything from here back, however, is one solid piece and does actually require the use of a small Allen wrench. Uh, but that project's probably going to be done at home and you're going to store that roof probably in your garage. Uh, also down here, now with that same Allen wrench, I can undo two bolts on the hinges. I can lift up the door and take it off. Okay, so classic Jeep fashion, no roof, no doors, no problem. Also, right down here, we have our rock slider bars. Now this is designed so as the vehicle comes up and over boulders and comes back down, that if it does hit uh, the boulder, that it's only gonna hit the rock slider down here and not damage the body of your vehicle. So as you come around here to the side, or the back rather, uh, I'd like to point out, this is really where the four-door Jeep shines. Now you have 70.6 cubic feet of cargo space and uh, with the 60-40 rear split seats, um, you can pretty much haul and take anything with you that you need to do. Okay, back here we also have a towing receiver uh, with a four pin connector. Now that towing receiver can handle up to 3,500 pounds and that's good enough for a couple of motorcycles and a couple of jet skis. Uh, so this Jeep is really going to fit in nicely with your action sports lifestyle. So if you want to go ahead and join me around the side over here. Let me show you all this space back here for your passengers. Now this Jeep carries five people, so you can actually bring along four friends with you as you go out and you hit the jungle. You have plenty of space back here. We also have an interior built-in roll cage right out of the factory. So even though the, the roof is off, everyone inside can feel safe and knowing that they have something over the top of their heads as they're out there cruising around uh, through whatever environment that you may be taking your Jeep through. Now, Jeep knows that you're going to have your roof off, you're going to be out in the wilderness. It's not always convenient to pull over and put your roof on. So everything over here is actually designed to withstand the elements. Uh, it can handle uh, rain and mud and snow or whatever you have to throw at it. Of course, all within reason. You don't want to leave out overnight in the rain. But um, if you're in the jungle having a great time and it starts to rain, you don't need to panic. Jeep has already thought about that for you. Okay. So. Now remember, this Jeep Rubicon is definitely going to be something that fits inside your lifestyle. Uh, if you like to be out into the nature, if you like to go off-roading, uh, motorcycling, jet skiing, or whatever it may be. And always remember that the fun is in the journey and not necessarily the destination. So if you like what you see in the Jeep Wrangler Rubicon, feel free to stop by in Mighty and visit us at Cars Plus or give us a call at 477-7807. Again, my name is Clayton Wolf, and don't forget, hit that little subscribe button down below us. We have a lot more really cool videos coming your way. Have a great day and great jeeping.